on the 1st of September 2020, NVIDIA dropped a big F to the RTX 2000 series. Move aside, RTX 3000 series is here. And man, is it a massive generational leap. If you've missed this news, if you're completely unaware that NVIDIA is launching brand new graphics cards, where have you been? Can you actually call yourself a gamer? Wow, just wow, wow, wow. The figures are something to behold. And we don't actually have performance figures yet. And we're waiting for some of the pros, the bigger channels to get hold of the cards to let us know what the real numbers are. But in my video tonight, I want to talk upgrade paths. Where would you go at home? What are you going to attempt to purchase and buy? I currently have the RTX 2080 Ti hybrids now being completely surpassed by the 3000 series. Uh, Nvidia announced their lowest entry level card, the RTX 3070, is equivalent to or faster than my 2080 Ti. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my 2080 Ti halved in value overnight. It is now put to the sidelines because the new series of cards really have had a massive performance increase and also a reduction in the power used depending on model. We're now getting more performance per watt. But revelations, I was going to make this video right after the Nvidia keynote but didn't get the chance. I've been ultra, ultra busy and ultra tired. Very small window to make these videos. And the information has kept rolling. And as we go on over the coming weeks, we are going to find out more and more. The biggest shocker, and what I wanted to talk to you about, is that there are no pre-orders on any of the cards on offer. And that's because I've read online from a news report that the first yields are very, very low. Whether that's to do with COVID, whether the yields and production from the new wafers on the Samsung uh, 8 nanometer process, whether that's not been refined, we don't fully know, but I have heard replenishable stock is not gonna be around until some, sometime in January 2020. So that means that if you are jumping right on the RTX hype train and you want a card, well, I'm going to say you want a card. The RTX 3080 is available on September the 17th. The RTX 3090 is avail available on September the 24th. The 2070 is not going to be available till October. But if you want one of those cards, you're going to have to beat the bots and get in manually and get your order in and be very, very lucky. Because I really am hearing from other people, news reports on the internet, numbers are low. So, I was on the NVIDIA hype train. I've been starry-eyed and I just want to let you know, if, you, if you've not been following my channel, for everyone that does follow my channel, you'll know I've been chasing 4K 120Hz. I needed HDMI 2.1. The 3000 series cards are now HDMI 2.1. I want to push the HP Reverb G2. I'll be getting that sometime in October. I want to push that to its limits. A small thing I've left on the shelf there is NVIDIA Broadcaster. That was also shown to us in the keynote. And that will give me great opportunities because I don't have a gaming room. I don't have my dedica own dedicated studio. I, ha I can't decorate and do what I want to do. But with NVIDIA Broadcaster, I can use my webcam. I can have webcam uh, auto framing. So if I move around, it's going to follow me around. But more importantly, I can put different backgrounds without a green screen, without any form of third party paid for software. I am going to be able to put more of a, um, a related background to the genre of videos I'm doing. I'm really excited about that. I do hope that it's free of charge. We're using NVIDIA hardware. 
To do that, we're using the AI within the cards to help produce and make that happen in real time. But I could imagine if it's something got really, really popular, could Nvidia charge for it? I really hope not. You'd be dropping the ball by doing that. But anyway, let's get back on track. I'm going to be asking a lot of the GPU. If I'm going to be doing streaming, I want to stream at 4K, but that's more dependent on internet connection and CPU as well. But I want to be using NVIDIA Broadcaster, I want to be using the webcam features, and I want to be overclocking my card and pushing my games to 4K 120Hz, 4K 90Hz in the VR. I really want to like push this, the graphics to the limit, but I want to be recording the desktop and me at the same time. That's a bit of an overhead. And looking at the current lineup, 3070 is going to be equivalent to my 2080 Ti. So yes, it's going to have the newer updated uh, ray tracing cores, ray tracing II, tensor cores and things, but equivalent speed to my 2080 Ti. So I need to move above that. The RTX 3080 coming in around £800 is going to be a step above the RTX 2080 Ti. But buy cheaper, not cheap, buy cheaper and buy again. If the RTX 3080 doesn't quite cut it, 4K 120, that overhead of recording backgrounds and things puts more of a strain on it and I'm not going to get the performance I want. Where am I looking? Currently, it's only the RTX 3090. And I've been starry-eyed on the NVIDIA hype train, thinking, oh my god, 3090 modder behemoth. 8K60 was quoted by Jensen. 8K60 frames per second. What a card you need to run that. But... I actually went and got some advice from someone because the trouble is when you're on that hype train you're high on the fumes from the train you're getting carried along and really as my friend suggested to me today hold off and wait for the RTX 3080 Ti now there's been no mention of a 3080 Ti we've been told that 3080 is current flagship but current when has there not been a 30, well, when has there not been a TI card? Now, also the problem with 3090 is the price, base price in the UK, £1,499 and upwards. I reckon we're going to see 3090s hitting the £1,700, £1,800 mark. And yes, I did pay £1,100 for an RTX 2080 Ti. Yes, I must have been slightly crazy, but it's more than paid for itself. It's been a very stable, consistent, deliverable card. But I think it's time to get wrenched from the hype train, slow it down and think about this. An RTX 3080 Ti is where I think I need to try and come in. And I'm really, really interested I want your opinions, every all of those of you out there, which of the brand new 30 series cards are you going to buy? What system are you going to pair that with? And are you in my boat where you think the 3080 is not going to have quite the performance you're looking for? Are you going to wait for a 3080 Ti? Are you going to try and slot in there? I'd really love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it happened. We are here, we are on the cusp of a new revolution. But, and a big but, I'm gonna throw a caveat in here. We haven't heard from AMD yet. Can AMD even bring anything to the table after Nvidia just punched everything down and says, bam, here we are. Who knows, if AMD bring anything like they did with the Ryzen CPUs, we could have some interesting times coming. And could Nvidia drop prices even further? We don't know. Please sound off in the comments below. Love to know your thoughts. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who's supporting me at the minute. 
My Flight Simulator 2020 videos have had a massive reception from you guys out there. Thank you very much for that. And videos I know have been slow again at the minute, but this is my busiest period at work. And I've just, <laughs> yeah, it's difficult sometimes to cramp everything in. The more videos will be coming your way as ever. I always say that and I always deliver in the end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've enjoyed it, give the videos a thumbs up. If not, even give it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon in more videos to come. Thank you very much. And peace out.